Harvey. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I need to know if you have anything yet. I don't. Are you kidding me? After the way those two guys got into it, you're telling me Kevin didn't start talking the second he left the room? No. He didn't say a word. Well, we need to get him to say something, to get you out of here. Yeah, I know, but I can't just push a button and get Kevin to turn on Sutter. Yes, you can. What are you talking about? You can tell him his algorithm was leaked to Cahill. When the hell did that happen? Last night, when I leaked it. Jesus Christ, so you're just out and out colluding now. Look, I didn't have a choice. The judge was gonna toss this case unless Cahill came up with a Hail Mary. All right, I, I'll use it the best I can with Kevin, but Harvey, he's sensitive. This is gonna take a little time. That's the thing, Mike, we don't have time. The judge set a trial date, which means if you don't get Cahill something soon, you're gonna be sitting here for the next two years. Thinking about what you told me last night about getting jail immunity. Like I told you, I don't want to talk about this. Maybe you want to talk about what's going to happen to her if Sutter goes down anyway. That's not going to happen. You don't know that. Yeah, well, I know what happens if either one of us turns on him. We won't have a penny to our name. Are you kidding me? Is he paying you to be in here? Listen to me, everything we have is tied to that man, and if he goes away, we lose it all. That's not what I asked. Did he promise you money if you kept quiet? Of course he goddamn did. And the day I get out of here, Jill and I are gonna take that money and start a new life. Or you could both cut a deal and start a new life right now. What kind of life is that gonna be? Because I come from nothing and I'm not gonna do that to my kids. Well, I'm telling you there are worse things you could be. Why are you so interested in my well-being? Because I'm your friend and I was in your position and I decided it was better to give it all up than to keep looking over my shoulder waiting for the ax to fall. What are you talking about? You know I was a fraud, right? You know I did it for years. What you don't know is that I quit 20 minutes before I got arrested. And it was 20 of the most peaceful minutes of my entire life. Yeah, well, look what happened to you anyways. But Kevin, that's not the That's point. enough. I told you I'm done talking about it, and I'm done. And if you're really my friend, you won't ever bring this up to me again. Hey, Mike. How's it going? What are you doing here, Gallo? You know, when I was on the outside, I wasn't the biggest, I wasn't the strongest, I wasn't even the smartest. But they let me run things, you know why? Nope. I have a feeling you're about to tell me. I had a knack for knowing when something didn't smell right. Something doesn't smell right with you. I don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna tell me Harvey didn't stop by this morning to see you? Tracking my every move now? I sure as hell am. You think I'm gonna trust the two of you with my freedom? Harvey said that he'll get you out, and he will. What if he already tried and he can't? That didn't happen. Yeah, well, let me run a little scenario by you. He filed whatever you filed, and it didn't fly. Then he came to tell you that, so the two of you would have your story straight, so you could string me along. It's not what happened, Gallo. He came here to see me about my case. You wanna know something, Mike? I don't give a shit about your case. So you tell Harvey next time he comes here, he better come with some progress because I got that sense of smell, and something in here stinks. Donna Paulson's office, how can I help you? You have a call from Dan- I'll Ray. accept the charges. Please hold while your call is being connected. Donna. My birthday's not for another week, but I appreciate the call. Your birthday's not for another five months and six days, and you know I know that. And I also know that you'll be here helping me celebrate with everyone. Thanks, Donna. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm hanging in. Good, now what's the favor you were gonna ask me? How'd you know? Because you called my line and not Harvey's, and I know when my friend needs me. So why don't you tell me how I can help? Remember that time you impersonated someone for me and then almost went to prison? Rings a bell? I need you to do the exact same thing. Only this time I found a way to make it totally legal. Oh, excuse me, I think I'm in the wrong room. No, you're not. <laughs> where is Kevin? I'm his cellmate, and where he is isn't important right now. I got a phone call from a guard saying that my husband wanted to see me, and I want to know what's going on. No, you got a phone call from someone saying they were calling from Danbury, which is exactly where that call was made. And now it's exactly where I'm headed out of. I know you're helping your father make illegal trades. What? You can go ahead and deny it, but Kevin told me everything. 
What do you want? I want to help you. Well, I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe it or not, but you have a small window to come clean with the SEC and save yourself. Not that it's any of your business, but I would never turn on my own father. That's too bad, because if you don't, you're both going to end up behind bars. What exactly is in this for you? There's nothing in it for me besides the fact that I care about Kevin. Listen to me. I used to work for Harvey Specter, your father's lawyer. If he found out that I was doing this, he would kill me. And what if I tell my father about all this? You're not going to do that. Because Kevin already told me that you guys are planning to go away on William's dime. So if your father finds out that Kevin's been talking to me, that dime's going to go away. Like I said, I'm in the wrong room. What the hell did you do? All right, Kevin, let me explain. Explain what? That you called my wife in here pretending to be me? Just listen to me. You I'm know, I can't believe you, man. I told you not to tell anyone what we talked about. And I didn't tell anyone who didn't already know. And I don't give a shit because this is none of your goddamn business. Yeah, well, I made it my goddamn business because there was a freight train headed right at you. And if I didn't do everything I could to stop it, I wouldn't be able to live with yeah, myself. Well, you didn't stop it. You slammed it right into my marriage because Jill and I, we haven't fought like we just did since the night that landed me in here. So from now on, take your goddamn good intentions and go to hell. You know what? You should be thanking me. Thanking you for what? Screwing up my life? In case you haven't noticed, your life is already screwed up. You're in here because of some other guy's crime, and if he gets caught, you're gonna be in here together, and then all of that fictional money that he's dangling in front of you isn't gonna be there anymore. Now I get why you're going to all this trouble. You regret that you took a deal for someone, and he's out there while you're in here. Well, I don't, because I didn't take this deal for that son of a bitch. I took it for my wife, who I love, and if you ever contact her again without my blessing, I swear to God, I will beat the Thank you.